Hello and welcome to Digital Woodcarver. My name is Laney Shaughnessy and I'm going to guide you through the step-by-step -step installation and setup for your new Planet CNC TNG software. So the first thing you want to do is you should have received a flash drive with your TNG software, setting files, and license codes along with your purchase. We want to take that flash drive and install it into your computer and we want to open up the file explorer and we want to navigate to those flash drive files. Within those files you should see a folder that says TNG software. Go ahead and double click and open that up. Inside the TNG software folder there are two files. There's a folder called CNC-TNG20171030. Now that number may vary depending on the version that you have but you should also underneath that folder have a setting file as well. First thing we want to do is we want to double click on the folder and open it up. Inside that folder we want to go ahead and install the software by running the installer. Okay once the installer opens up we want to go ahead and click on the next button. Next once again and for a third time and then we're going to click install once it installs the files uh, it will begin the installation of the driver alright and once it comes to the software and the driver you will get a finish button go ahead and click on that now we'll want to go ahead and open up the TNG software as you can see here in the background. We can go ahead and let that open up and just leave it in the background because we need to stay focused on the flash drive. We're going to go back into the main root directory of that flash drive and into that TNG software folder. And we're going to now take the setting file, that DWC TNG dot setting file the numbers that follow that setting file may vary depending on the date the setting file was created we want to highlight that file right click copy we then want to move over to our C drive on our computer into our program files x86 folder we want to scroll down and look for the planet CNC folder that was just created and anywhere within this planet cnc folder we're going to right click and we're going to paste that setting file now you're going to need to provide administrative permission uh, when that box pops up requesting administrative permission just click continue and it will install the setting file into that folder okay upon completion of the setting file being installed one last time we are going to navigate back to our flash drive with our software files and everything on there and we're going to go into the license code in the root directory of that flash drive you will see a simple text document that is numbered or named LIC pound with your controller number so if we double click and open that up it should open in a very simple notepad program and in that notepad program we should have our license code here now of the entire license code the only thing that we want to focus on and copy is the key code so the key code from the opening bracket all the way down to the closing bracket of the key code we want to highlight that entire code right click and copy we're now able to exit out of that notepad file we can go ahead and close out of our file explorer and the TNG software should be open in the background from the installation. We want to go ahead and the first thing we want to do is under the machine menu at the top of the software we want to come down to controller and we want to update the firmware of the software. So we're going to click on update firmware. It's going to say CNC not found. That's because I am not connected to the machine itself so we need to be connected to the controller box by plugging in our USB cable from our computer into the control box okay now once we're plugged into the control box we're going to go back up to machine down to controller 
and click on firmware update once more. And we're going to get a message saying that we're going to update our controller to V2. Do not disconnect the power or the USB cable during this operation. So we will click OK. On completion, we should get a message that says firmware update success. We will click OK from there. Now we need to go over to the file menu at the top of the program. And we need to click on file and go into the settings. In the settings, we want to come in and click on connection. And in the connection box, you should see under the word simulation, your control board listed. If you double click on that, uh, that listing, it should throw that control board up into the primary controller box. So you want to make sure that the primary controller matches your control board down below. We'll go ahead and click OK. And now at this time, we want to go ahead and import our setting file for the software. So we're going to go to File, Import Settings. In our File Explorer, when it opens, it's going to automatically open us up to the Planet CNC folder on our C drive. If by chance it doesn't open you up to the C drive, Planet CNC folder, just navigate to that folder by going into your C drive. The program files x86 folder and then planet CNC. We're going to click on that EWC TNG January 18th setting file that uh, for the date that I'm working on it here. So we'll click on that and click open. You will see your screen change to this neon greenish color. Uh, that is a default for this setting file. If you would like to, you can make changes to that. So we will come in here and click on File, Settings. And in the colors, our custom color here, you can go ahead and adjust that any way you'd like. So I want to bring this down to a little bit darker color. And I'm going to then click OK at the bottom of that control box. All right. So now... We want to, we've got uh, to connect our unit. We need to uh, activate the license code and everything, the license code that we have copied already out of that text file. So we'll go into uh, File. We're going to go into the settings and we're going to make sure that our connection is still showing. Notice how it snapped back to a default selection when I imported that license file or that, that, that uh, setting file. We want to go ahead and double click on that license code one more time and put it in that primary controller. And once we do that, if you look at the very bottom of your screen, you should see a green LED light. Uh, that lets us know that uh, we're connected. Now, your green LED light may have an X in it, uh, you know, waiting for that license code. But because I had copied the license code of the text box, if we go to the help, license management, my licenses, and we look at the licenses, if I click on the license here, you can see that it already put it in. If I click on import, notice the paste from clipboard, it already pasted it from when I copied it, but we may need to paste it ourselves. So we would actually come in here and then we could either click the paste from clipboard, you know, or we can right click and paste and we could put that code in. Um, all that we need is, you know, we need that key code in this uh, entry box. But it automatically did that for me uh, because I had that code copied into my clipboard already. So we want to make sure that on our license list that we see that uh, controller board, uh, which is associated with our machine. And if we do, you will get a green LED light with no gray X. The gray X means that it can't find it cannot find the license code. But if we have our solid green LED, then we have that uh, that connection, and we're ready to go. So that is the process of setting up and installing your TNG software, as well as how to connect it uh, to your control box and enter in your setting files and your license codes. I want to thank you very much for your time. If you have any other questions, you can email us at sales at digitalwoodcarver.com. That's S-A-L-E-S -E at digitalwoodcarver.com.
www.jeffcarver.com or you can contact us at 352-404-3951. For more information and videos like this, please visit us at www.digitalwoodcarver.com. Have a great day.